Hi my friends and adventurers, Heather here and welcome back to my channel, Heather's Hikes and Adventures. If you're new here, welcome. Stay a while. Feel free to subscribe. All right, obviously I suck at that. Anywho, I wanted to talk to you guys today about something that I've gotten asked about in the past and that is what I eat in a typical day on the road. Um, so I'm not going to do my fanciest day or try to show off for you guys and cook every meal and make it some big elaborate thing because that's definitely not me. That's not real. Um, sorry if my glasses are smudgy, by the way. I lost my cloth and I just <laughs> didn't clean them before I started filming. Um, but this is going to be a very realistic day. So realistic that I forgot to film myself making my coffee. So fail already. Oh gosh. Anyways, please stick around. I promise I'll be on my best behavior the rest of the video. Like I said, I did start out with coffee, which I made with my AeroPress. I will link my AeroPress video below in case you have questions like I did on how the heck it works and if it's really as awesome as everybody said. It is. It's so good I use it at home base. It makes the best cup of coffee, especially when paired with my $10 milk frother from Amazon, which I'll also link below. But anyways, <clears throat> I am starting the day with breakfast of champions. This is my go-to when I'm in a rush and I know I need to make myself eat something so that I don't waste away before lunch but I don't really feel like stopping to eat. I'm not a big breakfast person unless I'm going for like eggs, bacon, potatoes and sitting and relaxing. But if I got places to go, breakfast is normally the last thing on my mind. So I'm gonna scarf this down, finish my delicious coffee, and then the rest of the video will be a little more <laughs> exciting than just that for the rest of my meals and snacks. So. Stick around and I will see you again in a little bit. Okay, my friends, we are at our next destination of the day. It's not quite snack or lunch time yet, but I am going to take you on a quick little walk to see um, some historic ruins. You guys know I'm on a quest to see every single Florida State Park that there is, and technically where we just were, the Fairchild Oak is a part of Bulow Creek State Park. So that was one state park we visited today, even if it was kind of a cheat visit since it started raining and I didn't do the trail I was going to. Um, but aside from that, there is a short nature trail. We've got a bunch of cameos coming by here real quick. Um, there is a short nature trail here. I want to say it's like maybe a third of a mile and that'll take us to the sugar plantation ruins. So um, I think since I haven't done any music and all you've heard is my huffing and puffing and walking and talking lately, I'll just do a little uh, music to this walk since there's not really a lot more explanation needed. And then when we get back to the van, I will probably do either part one of my lunch or at least have a little snack or something and probably drink some Gatorade. I'm trying to stay hydrated with my water bottle. Haven't been doing the greatest, um, probably because I'm not super hot, so I keep forgetting. There, but no, seriously, I am gonna check that when I get back. Normally I would bring my fanny pack and that, but I know it's such a short trail there and back and it's not hot. I'm just going to wait and hydrate when I get back to the car, which do as I say, not as I do. I never recommend going anywhere without water. You never know what could happen. 
That's safety 101. Always bring water with you. So pretend like I'm carrying it. Um, anywho, be back when I'm ready to eat some more. And in the meantime, enjoy this little, hopefully pretty walk without rain.
Okay, it's 85. Still not bad, I'm not complaining. But the humidity factor in the sun definitely take away from the breeze. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that nice little peaceful walk through history. Wasn't exactly the most beautiful event in history, but I do love walking around ruins and learning about what happened at the time. So despite my personal feelings about, you know, the events that transpired and everything behind it, I do think that it was a really pretty visit. And to be honest, it's only like 11.15. I'm really not even hungry right now. Um, I think I'm just going to wait until I get to my next spot and then go ahead and have either an early lunch or just have a snack then and then have a later lunch. It's nothing exciting, guys. Spoiler. Um, but it will involve some grown-up Lunchables, i.e. crackers, cheese and pepperoni, and or bagged salad. So... Nothing earth shattering, but I'm keeping it real for you, and that's a real lunch for me. So, I'll see you when we get there. Dinner might be hopefully a little more exciting for you guys. Stay tuned. Eh? Okay, see you at the next place, unless something cool happens on the way, or I get sidetracked again, which we all know happens. <laughs> also, if you're ever visiting the Bulo Creek plantation ruins historic state park i know i'm probably butchering that name i'll put it below um but it definitely has plantation ruins in the name and historic if you visit here where i am right now here let me is kind of like the pavilion there's a water area you can go down there and launch from oh dear what did i just do Hold, please. Okay, I think I fixed it. The joys of doing everything on my phone again. I know my camera settings, but my phone, I just let it do whatever the hell it, heck, it, heck it wants. Excuse me, that was a big sip. All right, so we're gonna hit it. What I was gonna say is that there's actually a small parking area right at the ruins, which I had forgotten about. So if you're just going to visit the ruins, you can actually park right there at them. <clears throat> so we'll be passing by them on the way out because this whole thing is one way from what I understand. And then I will see you once we get to our next and final destination where I plan to do a lot of relaxing, a lot of editing, and some eating for y'all. <laughs> All right, see you then. I just had to show you a bit of the road in and out of the park because you know me and trees. So beautiful back here. Okay, so as you can see, my picnic table is in direct sun, and since I'm just staying here for tonight, I didn't think it was worth bringing the clam for a little bit of shade just for a little while. So, I went ahead and just put my um, weather text on the windshield, and on this one where the wind, <laughs> the wind, <laughs> the sun was beating down the most, I did peel this one back because check out my view. I'm right next to the overlook for the beach. Um, and spoiler, if you see the water tower there, you can see which beach. Um, but I'm going to show you my awesome view here in a second. Um, you can definitely hear the waves from the ocean out back. Um, but the vegetation and dunes is covering it. I'll say that I think it was sites 11 and then 1921 and I think 23 you can have you have like a clear view of the ocean from your site so I definitely want to try to get one of those later but I love the sound um, and if I stand up on my picnic table and pretend like I have a deck on top of my van like I want one day <laughs> Hey, I can, I can make it real in my mind. 
but if I was sitting on my van, I would definitely be able to see it. Anywho, I think since it's so hot out there and I have a nice breeze going in here with my setup, I'm just going to go ahead and set up a snack in here um, and just eat that for now and then go check out the view, my, my view and the beach and hopefully remember how to talk by the time I get back again. And then I think I'll probably read, relax, maybe if I'm feeling extra spicy, doing some more editing. TBD, but I know I'm gonna eat soon because I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> all right, you guys, I was gonna plate it and try to make it look all appealing and pretty, but let's face it, it's basically just Lunchables, so why bother? Um, these are my favorites, though, so I figured I would share. I've got my Publix brand Extra Sharp Cheddar already cut, although I do cut it smaller. My pepperoni, which I'll, I just normally go with whatever's on sale that looks decent. Um, and then my wheat thins, which are currently sun-dried tomato and basil. And I always take them out of the box, even though they're not opened, because it saves in space when I'm packing. So there you have it. Crackers, pepperoni, and cheese will be phase one of my lunch. And most likely I will end up having a little bit of my bagged salad later on, but I think I'm actually gonna take a nap because I'm super comfortable. I know it says 91, but the humidity is lower right now because of the breeze off the ocean. And when I'm in the right spot with the fan and the doors open, it's really actually super comfortable. It's more like 78 if I had to guess. All right, that's all. I'm gonna put everything on this tray and then enjoy the sounds of the ocean while I watch the new Danielle Kirsty video that finally came out today. Woohoo! Another true crime and makeup that I'm obsessed with. So we're gonna watch that and I you know, I'm filming with my phone, so it's not that you guys aren't important, but I do want to eat and I want to watch my show while I'm eating. So sorry, I'll be back later. Bye. All right, it's about 4.30. I've had my Hot Logic plugged in for about 30 minutes. I've got it plugged into my 240 which I did use last night for the same thing as well as for my laptop and my phone and I think even my light. Um, I've got my 1000 back there. That's what I use for my fridge and that's what I use for my fridge and my tea kettle. But um, I already have my coffee stuff pulled out, my AeroPress and my kettle and my coffee up there. I went ahead and set everything up for later. Check out my site. I'm going to show you that awesome view in a little bit. But um, as I was saying, I've had it plugged in for about 30 minutes. I'm going to insert a clip here of past Heather showing you what all is in there. And then once it's ready, I'll show you. But I decided I wanted to do an early dinner tonight mainly because I've been wanting my chocolate all day and I refuse to eat it right now. I've been planning on saving it for dessert. So that means an early dinner before sunset. And then we are gonna take a walk out on the beach back there for sunset. Come back, enjoy our chocolate. And that will be, oh, I just, I shouldn't have told you what I was having for dessert if this is a what I eat in a day, should I, huh? Spoiler. Whoopsies. Anywho, you can kind of see how I am set up. And I can't wait to show you my campsite and my view before I eat dinner and or dessert. All right, see you in a bit. And I'll let you know what this is at once I'm done. I'm going to stop it at 6. I think that should be more than enough time. 
Okay, this is Heather from the past hopping in real quick to show you what I'm making for tomorrow's dinner since it's just going to be leftovers, but I wanted to show you the ingredients. <clears throat> Please excuse my voice. I'm hoping I can rest it enough to not sound like this tomorrow. We've got Cuban black beans, Ben's ready rice Spanish style. And I saved the package since I already have it in um, glass containers that are ready for my hot logic in two portions. This Hormel pork roast. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the fridge. Like I said, I already have it divided into two containers. What I'm going to do today is just put one serving of the beans and rice into the container with it, heat it all up together like it's one dish so that it's ready to go. And then I'm going to put the other serving of the rice and beans into the other container so that will be ready for tomorrow's dinner, which is what you'll be seeing in this video. Okay, that's all. Here. Okay, my friends, I am back. It is 6 p.m. I am getting ready to shut off the jackery right now. Oh, come on. My fingers don't want to work. All right, you can see it's definitely hot. I love this particular type of container. I've talked about it before, but the... Even though it's glass, the top has corners that are plastic and this part, so you can actually lift it without burning the heck out of yourself. And now that that's off, I'm just gonna get that out of the way for a minute and we will check this out. I'll show you what it looks like all mixed up in a little bit, but we've got beans and rice and pork. Let me get that all mixed up so you can see what it actually looks like. So as you can see, it looks pretty dang good. Nice and steamy. The pork is still juicy. Really good. It was delicious last night. This is just the same thing that I had then. So on that note, you guys already know I'm filming on my phone and I have some stuff I need to do on it. So I'm going to let you go while I enjoy this food and I will touch base with you when I am done clearing my plates and ready to take a little walk and make some room for dessert.
Let's see, I've already got my coffee stuff ready to go for the morning. All right. Now for the most important part of the day. Okay, my friends, it's the time of day I've been waiting for since this morning, but society would not let me start my what I eat in a day for breakfast with it, and that is my favorite. It is dark chocolate with caramel and sea salt. Pretty much if you put dark chocolate, sea salt, and caramel with anything, I'll eat it, so that's like my favorite. So, I've been saving this, even though I wanted to eat it earlier. I was like, no, because think about how silly you'll feel if you go to do dessert and you have to admit to everybody that you ate it at 10 o'clock in the morning. So, I just want to thank you guys for me being able to enjoy this delicious chocolate now because it would have been long gone if it wasn't for you all. With that being said, as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate you and I hope that you'll be back for the next video. I guess I really don't have anything else to say. See you next time. Bye guys. Why is it so good? I seriously don't know how anything can taste this good on earth. But congratulations, you've done it.